What's up trading friends? Welcome back to yet another video. I'm Sam from Top Trader Team, guys. And in today's video, we're going to be answering one simple question. Is Hellbiz dead? And what the hell biz is going on with Hellbiz? Okay, so we're going to be talking about it in today's video. So with that being said, hit the thumbs up button because it's going to be a very informative video. Now, let's jump right into it. Is Hellbiz dead? The simple answer is it depends. The simpler answer is no, it's not dead. Okay, now that is a very, you know, there's a lot of nuance, there's a lot of nuance, right, that we need to get around, right, when answering a question like, is this stock dead? Because the term dead means different to different people considering what price they jumped in on, right? But I think, you know, I'm gonna pull up my screen right now so, so we can discuss the stock more closely like that, but we'll go three, two, one, and action. Okay, so here we have Helbis, right? Like I was saying, right? So to me, when a stock is dead, that means that nobody cares about it anymore. It's completely irrelevant. The, the volume is drying up and drying up and drying up. There's no media coverage around the stock. The stock is just, it's, it's, it's done, it's done and gone, okay? It's, it's dealt with, right? But Hellbiz isn't a stock like that. Hellbiz isn't that stock, okay? Help is still, help is has proven to us over and over again, guys, that it can go on these parabolic runs when you least expect it. I mean, look, this is stock, guys, that sold off from a $4 down to 60 cents and then spiked back up above $2.50. Sold down all the way down to 25 cents and then it spiked above 50 cents. That's a 100% move right there. Sold off to 17 cents and then it spiked back up to 33 cents. Sold down to 11 cents and then spiked to 55 cents. Okay, so this is a stock, guys, that once it gets going, it gets going. And personally, I believe it still has a couple more runs in its system before we can fully say that this is a stock that is, you know, it's goodbye, our goodbyes too. Right now, to what levels can it spike to? I think I think that's the question that comes to mind, right? Because after all, is the stock dead or not? Well. It depends what level you're holding at, right? If you're holding at a price of, let's say, if you jumped in at $4 and the stock is at 16 cents, then to you, it's dead because it's, I'll tell you something, it's never getting back to like the, the $39 or $40 levels, okay? It, it's just not happening, right? It's just not happening. Even the $4 levels, I just don't see it going back to $4 again from the levels that I'm seeing it right now. Now, could it do so... 20 years down the line, if the company survives bankruptcy, maybe, maybe it could, right? But no time in near future, right? And of course, that's not financial advice. I'm just someone who's been trading for a very long time, right? Nothing you hear in today's video is financial advice. Always doing due diligence, all right? Once again, I'm just someone who's been trading for a long time, has managed to cure the following because people trust what I say because what I say oftentimes falls through, okay? That's it. That's the only reason. So don't stick, don't take everything I say for, oh, well, Top trader said that it's going to pop. So it's going to pop. No, it's just my opinion. All right. And um, yeah, so, you know, so the volume's there. Right. And um, yeah, you know, so at what levels do I see the stock recovering to? The highest I see the stock going from levels that it's sitting at right now. The highest it could go to is 55 cents, first of all. Right. Because this was the peak. This was the peak of the recent, you know, short interest, short, naked short war fiasco that the stock kind of used as a catalyst to pop up on. Right. That's why I think that's the top. Right. And, you know, the 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 element of surprise sometimes is what, is what causes stocks to go on parabolic runs. Right. And I think the element of surprise of this company going head to head against the naked shorts and joining the naked short war is what causes stock to go from 11 cents all the way upwards of 55 cents, a 5x. OK, 400 percent gains. All right. So with that being said, you know, we don't no longer, we no, we no longer necessarily have that element of surprise because we know that Helbus is a stock that is trying to battle the shorts. We know Helbus is a company that, you know, the CEO is tweeting every day about, oh, naked short words and everything like that. Okay. So from here, we need to see some action, right? We need to see some action. Now the stock, from a technical standpoint, the stock is sitting at a good support level. The tip of these set of candles over here at about, you know, 16 cents ish, 17 cents ish. Now, personally, I did set my stop loss at about 1750, which was the bottom of these set of candles. I know it's 18, but we set it at 1750. Now, why 1750? Because we wanted to get confirmation of break, right? We didn't just want to break it and then bounce back up, right? And look, this was a very strong level of support, guys. After all, the stock fell from 36 cents 
down to 18 cents and then it popped from 18 cents to 55 cents. So that goes to show that this, what is he saying? All right, listen, man, I, I gotta mute, I gotta mute my messages. I um I was previously recording a video and my boy kept messaging me. I, I set him up on a date, all right? I helped him message some girl and he went on a date and now he's excited, he's telling me all about it. He's like, I should've done this, I should've done that. It's like, come on, buddy, it's, it's, it's done, all right? It's done now, you maybe get another chance if you're lucky, so there's that. But um, yeah, so if you guys see his messages pop up, he's just super excited, okay, because I, you know, you know me, right? The Riz God, the Rizzler, all right? Is what they call me in the streets, all right? So that's why that's why he's messaging me so much. Anyways, going back to the charts over here, right? So we set it at 1750, our stop loss triggered, and we took an L. And here's the thing about trading, right? You need to be able to take L's. You need to understand to take L's, right? Losing is part of trading. And when things aren't going your way, you need to get out. I just dropped a video, guys, on the Discord, going over step by step. Let me um. Let me show you guys market wins. No, not market wins, trading lessons. All right, guys, I, I just dropped a step-by-step -step video, right, on how to make a trading strategy, right? And I think a trading strategy is, I think when I see a trader, the first thing I ask them is, do you have a trading strategy, right? When you're opening a position, do you have a trading strategy? And I can instantly guess 99% of the people are gonna be unprofitable right? Because they don't have a trading strategy because they look at trading like gambling. They don't think of trading like a business. And I always say this over and over again, you guys need to treat your trading like a business, like it's a job, like it's a business. All right. You can't just be, oh, it's not Vegas. Okay. It's not Vegas. All right. And that's why I always tell people, I tell them, you need to be trading with at least three to $5,000. If you're trading with less than $3,000, you should go get a job. You should pick up some extra shifts, you should work the job and you should be making money to add to your portfolio. Because when you're trading with less than $3,000, you're more likely to go all in. You're more likely to see opportunity and go, this is the one, man. This is the one that's going to 2X my $1,500. I'm going to go all in. And then what happens is you get burnt. Okay. That's why. Also, if you're interested in our discord that comes with all these lessons, okay, from technical analysis to psychology of trading to how to pick out the next 10x stock to specific trading strategies, right? Winning trading strategies that I share with you guys. To the alerts, right? The, the trade alerts, right? Which we've been making a killing on, right? Um, check us out, guys, right? The link is in the comments in the description, right? It's 50% sale right now, all right? For Valentine's Day because I love you guys, all right? And um, yeah, it's also first month money back guarantee. You really can't go wrong, like... First month money back guarantee. So join if you literally didn't make back the money that you spent on the community. Just ask for a refund and you will receive a refund. Okay. There are no reasons required. Let's say you made money, but you just didn't like the community. Just ask for a refund and you'll get a refund. All right. It, it's literally in the fine print. It says no reasons required. Now, when you join, here's what I need you to pay attention to. Right. So this is the trade alerts. Right. Come with a ticker. They come with a limit entry. They come with the exit strategy. Come with a stop loss and a risk level. This risk level, it could either be red, green, or yellow. If it's red, it means that it's a higher risk play. If it's yellow, it means that it's medium risk. And if it's green, it means it's lower risk. Okay. Now, every trade that we take in our community is extremely risky because we're day traders, right? So with that being said, be mindful of that. But this is still kind of set in place for you to be able to, okay, how much, what do I size? How do I size my positions before jumping in? Right. And um, yeah, so check it out, guys. The community also gives you one-on-one -on -one access to me. Now, that's why it actually has limited spots. The community has limited spots because it gives you one-on-one -on -one access to me and I don't have time to answer to a thousand messages. And we are already at above 150 members. 150 members, returning members. 150 returning members. Do you understand what that means? That means 150 people choose to come back every single month. Do you know why? Even though it's first one money back guarantee, because the proof is in the pudding. Look, this is the market win section where people post their wins based off of my trailers, x -Bond. Gordon made a killing on, X-Pawn, Nidal made a killing on, right? HBCO a couple of days ago, turned $6,000 into $6,800 for Puma Blue. WLDS turned $2,160 to $2,380. Over here on um, on HBCO, $57 gains. Over here on HBCO, our boy killed it, jumped in at $1.23, exit at $1.58. That's about 30% gains right there, 35% gains right there. And the list just goes on, right? The list just goes on. Now, what I want you guys to understand is that, you know, our trading results are not typical, 
okay? And it is a monthly subscription. The community is through a monthly subscription. And I know when people hear a monthly subscription, they cringe a little bit because they go, oh, no, another bill added to my long list of bills. But you're wrong, right? Because this isn't your typical bill. Your typical bill doesn't, you know, it doesn't bring you $265, right? Your typical bill doesn't bring you 22% gains. Your Netflix bill doesn't bring you, you know, 787 pounds, right? Your, you know, your, it just doesn't, right? It doesn't. So be mindful of these things, right? And understand that, look, like, you know, this isn't your this isn't your typical bill. This is the bill that pays the bills, right? It doesn't bring you 30% gains on Carvana. It, it just doesn't, okay? So check us out, like I said, first one, loaded back guarantee. Now, going back to what I was saying, I see the stock spiking to the levels that I'm looking to exit. The highest I would say would be, I see it going recently, would be 35 cents. I don't see the stock peaking over 35 cents, unfortunately, because like I said, it no longer has that shock factor. It no longer, you know, has the kind of surprise element of, oh my God, the stock is up like insane, let's jump in, okay? So with that being said, the highest I see it is 35 cents. Now, like we always say, right? You're never gonna get at the bottom, bottom, bottom. You're never gonna get in at the top, 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 get out at the top, top, top. So I don't suggest attempting to sell at 35 cents, maybe sell at 29 cents, maybe 32 cents, something like that, right? Because it does also have resistance at about the 30 cent levels. When we go over here, we see, you know, it's the, it's the, let's see, let's see where it's at. Hmm. 30 cents. Okay. It actually doesn't have that 30 cents. I was wrong. It's at 27 cents. Okay. So, you know, maybe selling on now 27 cents is actually a super strong level of resistance for the stock because look at how many, look at how many times it's touched different, um, different points, right? It's touched it here. It's touched it here. It's touched it here. It's touched at the bottom of this candle, right? It's touched at the top of these candles, these candles, these candles, Right, so two dollars and seventy cents or twenty-seven cents is absolutely a strong level of resistance for this stock. Before that level, we have this level of about nineteen to twenty cents ish. Okay, so nineteen to twenty cents is where it's also it also has resistance. So be mindful of that. Now, with that being said, if you guys found value in today's video, hit the thumbs up button. I'm also hosting a free webinar, guys. The link is in the comments description. Make sure to join. It's going to be a one-hour webinar. Okay, and we're going to be going over the five things, the five traits. The five laws of trading that have turned me into a profitable trader. Okay. It's going to be, it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of information in that. So make sure to RSVP. The link is in the comment description. That being said, I hope you guys found value in today's video. Hit the thumbs up button. Your boy Sam from Top Trader Team.